from 8 to 12 May 2023, in Dakar, Senegal, the Raise for Sahil project organized a workshop titled Reaching the Last Mile with Vaccination. More than 4 million children living in the Sahel and the Horn of Africa have never been vaccinated as of 2020. This population is called zero-dose children and accounts for almost half of vaccine-preventable deaths. In June 2022, the Global Alliance for Vaccination and Immunization, or GAVI, partnered with the governments of said countries and other organizations to launch the Zero Dose Immunization Program, also called ZIP. We know no one has mastered this, meaning no one has been able to systematically reach these populations that are displaced because of climate change, again, because of conflict. And so what we want to understand is if we engage with different partners in a regional approach, are we able to increase immunization and reduce zero-dose children? The goal of ZIP is to identify and reach vulnerable children who miss their immunization to catch them up and include them in the immunization program. The International Rescue Committee, IRC, and World Vision will lead the project across the Horn of Africa and the Sahel region. Both organizations are based in the United States and will reach 11 countries together. Gavi made a decision to engage with new partners after looking at the data and seeing that routine immunization was not increasing in these key areas and really deciding that we needed to do something different. We needed new partnerships. We needed a regional approach with partners that could then engage with local partners, local CSOs who know the communities and can unlock how we engage with those communities in terms of gender, in terms of mobile outreach, in terms of trust. On va pas couvrir tous les problèmes de zéro dose, mais eh, on pense qu'on peut arriver à apprendre beaucoup de choses. Ce projet, c'est avec l'apprentissage, comment mieux faire les choses pour pouvoir arriver à ces points-là. Et les partenariats, sans doute, c'est clé. Thus, more than $100 million will be released by Gavi to vaccinate zero-dose children as part of ZIP. The aim will be to vaccinate more than 3 million children in 11 African countries who have so far escaped any vaccination. This funding will enable international and local civil society organizations to complement public health services efforts and reach communities not served by government services, particularly in cross-border areas and conflict zones of the Horn of Africa and the Sahil. This is ZIP, and this is $100 million that Gavi has allocated to two regions, to the Horn of Africa and to the Sahel. Sahel is where World Vision is the prime and has a consortium of excellent partners and local CSOs to be able to engage in cross-border activities and also in areas of conflict where we know many zero-dose children reside. Well, the thing I like most about this project is that it will improve the lives of the most vulnerable children in the hardest places to reach. And that really aligns with World Vision's vision for life in all its fullness for every child in the world. For Carla Denizard, Regional Director of World Vision for West Africa, this zero-dose childhood vaccination program will strengthen her organization's already existing development programs. World Vision in West Africa, we're working um, in some of the most fragile and insecure contexts. We have five category three humanitarian responses. And so we are seeing this as complementing and strengthening our existing programming, maternal child health and nutrition programs, food assistance programs, water and sanitation programs. So combining it with the immunization, you know, will ensure that we are really saving lives, reducing the incidence of outbreaks in the areas that we work in, and holistically looking at child health to improve child survival and um, wellness. This meeting is crucial to coordinate efforts and resources to combat low vaccination coverage in the Sahel region. Nous sommes spécifiquement en train de travailler avec l'objectif d'avoir une stratégie pour les différents pays 
pour pouvoir faire une stratégie ciblée pour les enfants en des zones de conflit et des zones fragiles. C'est ça l'objectif de faire ce travail cette semaine ici à Dakar. Le, le projet vient pour appuyer les gouvernements et donc tout ce que nous faisons, c'est pour le gouvernement et pour accompagner le gouvernement à atteindre le maximum possible d'enfants zéro dose. The participants were the teams of the R4S project and representatives of the Ministry of Health for each of the seven countries of project implementation. Et cet atelier nous a permis de pouvoir vraiment clarifier beaucoup de questions, d'apprendre euh, beaucoup par rapport aux autres pays qui étaient là, comment est-ce que les autres pays ont évolué. Et puis cela nous permettra de mettre à jour et puis de pouvoir améliorer les stratégies que nous avons prévues. Et vous allez me dire pourquoi l'apprentissage dans cet atelier a été important. C'est on veut commencer à comprendre quelles sont les leçons euh, qu'on peut en tirer pour informer euh, le monde d'immunisation de comment travailler en collaboration avec plusieurs partenaires. Ils sont jusqu'à 90 dans ce projet d'atteindre ces populations en besoin d'immunisation. Representatives of several governments also traveled to Dakar for this workshop which aims to help these countries improve vaccination coverage through a strengthened advocacy plan. In reality, we have a challenge, a challenge enorme, allant du financement, du sous-financement de la santé, à des défis sécuritaires, mais aussi à des soucis à l'insuffisance de l'engagement communautaire ou l'insuffisance même de l'engagement politique. Je pense que les stratégies de plaidoyer qui viennent d'être élaborées, de même que les cibles Vont nous permettre à terme d'affronter ces défis, sinon de les lever. Thanks to this partnership between Gavi, the Vaccine Alliance, International Rescues Committee, and World Vision, millions of children living in some of the hardest to reach communities in the world are likely to have access to essential vaccines for the first time through the zero dose childhood immunization program, ZIP. <laughs>